Thank you for joining us again. We are delighted that you took just a moment to pause, whether it's 10 minutes or 12 minutes, we're not sure. But pause with us as we sing, study from God's Word, and this will improve your day. I guarantee it.
I would like to continue from yesterday's lesson. I think we talked about forgiveness out of, uh, if, if I make no mistake, e Ephesians. Today I'd like to go over to Colossians. And let me start by asking you a question. Is it easier to forgive someone or to ask for forgiveness from someone? Think about that for a moment. Is it easier to forgive or is it easier to ask for forgiveness? One of those things that I learned over the years is that forgiveness opens up doors and breaks barriers and bondage. And I've said a number of times, the six most powerful words that you can speak from your mouth are these. Please forgive me I was wrong. Six simple words can turn a world upside down. Those six words will get you into heaven. Those six words might bring heaven back to your house. Please forgive me. I was wrong. It's something about man. We're proud. We don't want to admit we were wrong. It's okay if you come to me and say, I was wrong. Will you forgive me? I can say, sure. <clears throat> but when it's turned and I'm the one that is wrong, not that I've been wronged, but I am wrong. And I come to the place that I realize this is stifling my life. It's, it's a big wedge in my marriage. And it's keeping me from fellowship in the church. And it's put up quite a barrier between me and God. I was wrong. I did the wrong thing. Paul said in Colossians 3.13, 3, Bearing with one another. Another way of saying that is you've got to put up with one another. <laughs> Everybody has to get to the place where they understand... At some point, somebody's going to disappoint you. At some point, everybody's going to do you wrong. But you are also going to do people wrong. It's amazing how everybody thinks they're right in every situation. It's amazing how powerful it is when someone says, I take full responsibility. There is something more important than being right. And that is that we have a right relationship Holy Spirit is very sensitive and he's easily grieved and if we think for a moment that we can shout <clears throat> make a lot of noise before God and speak in tongues and sin over our unforgiveness we make a grave error the Holy Spirit won't come near that he will begin to massage our hearts and say what's the right thing to do what is the Father expecting from you? He expects you to take responsibility and make this thing right. You know, if in your marriage, it, there in your home, if the two of you are constantly at strife, can't get along, I've always said, the more spiritual of the two must take the lead and say, I was wrong. And I've said many times in a marriage, you don't win arguments. You just learn how to forgive. I pray that you will understand that this bearing with one another means don't expect too much because at some point we're all going to have strife and butt heads. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a complaint against another. Even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Have you noticed that every time Paul writes about forgiveness, he says, do it because Jesus did it. Do it the way Jesus did it. Because that's the only real kind of forgiveness, you see. He did it first. God always does it first because he shows us how. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing our sins to us, having forgiven you of all trespasses through the blood of his cross so God did it first he said I'm the one offended 
but I forgive you. That's beautiful right there. I'm the one that was offended, God said, but I forgive you. And he expects us to do it the way he did it, fully, completely. Be done with it. And have such an experience in your forgiveness that when you walk away, you feel relieved and clean. That's a great feeling right there. I've had uh, times in my life, you know, when you have differences of opinion with people and friendships are, uh, are in jeopardy and there's that coldness and that strife and that division. That's a terrible, nasty spiritual feeling. But it's so powerful and pure when, when you get to the place that you can say, I was wrong. Please forgive me. Then you know what it is to forgive the way he forgave and do it because you love him and want to obey him. And when we do anything for his namesake or his glory, it always strongly affects other relationships. God bless you today. And I hope that if there is something in there between you and somebody, the, the devil loves it now. You, you can count on that. Just get rid of it. Take responsibility. Do the Jesus thing and watch what he'll do in your life. Thank you. We'll talk again tomorrow.